Now, I don't normally make videos like this, but this find was way too incredible not to share. This is the story of how I got 10 ounces of silver for $10. Let's get right into it. So Kevin, just to be clear, this thumbnail is no joke. You no, actually did no. get 10 ounces of silver for $10. Guys, the proof is right here. This is no joke and this is no quick bait. 10 ounces for $10, that's what happened. That's the story. So Kevin, you picked up this awesome piece of silver here for just $10 and how much is 10 ounces of silver worth today? At today's current silver price of $17.47, this object is worth about $172. Wow, so that's major profits there. Yeah. Okay, so Kevin, I gotta know, what were the events leading up to this purchase? My mom, my brother and I, we went out to a uh, local engine show. On the side of this, this show, there was a flea market. Okay, so we're at this engine show, we're walking through a flea market, mm -hmm. and you see this. What makes this any different than like a silver plated item? Like how did this catch your eye? First of all, this wasn't just on a table surrounded by like a ton of spoons and forks and plates. This was in the back of a shelf with other items in front of it and it was all by itself. There was nothing plated around it. I kind of scooched the other items away and I pulled this out from the back and I look at it and I'm like, all right, um, good weight, this looks pretty legit. So I look at the markings. There's one marking that says K-I-M and there's one other marking that has a three on it and a head of a girl. So when I actually purchased this, purchased this item, the lady who was running the stand was helping another customer out with, with an item. So I was just sitting there kind of holding this in my hands and as soon as there was a break in the conversation, I was like, excuse, excuse me, um, how much would you take for this? She, she glanced at it and she said, how about 15 bucks? I, I looked back at her and said, I can do 10. And she took it just like that. Just 10, like that. Just like that. 10 bucks, she took it. And just because of how fast she took that deal, it kind of made me scared. I asked her for a bag right away. As she was putting the plate and the cups in the bag, she said, she looked at it, she said, yeah, they're probably sterling. And she puts them <laughs> in the bag. I'm like, what? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Sterling. Like, do you really not know like the the value of silver? So you brought this home and you did your research on this piece and where did it end up being from? I did discover that the piece was from Poland because the uh, KIM, the manufacturers, the K and the M are the initials of two uh, Polish names. But yeah, it's from Poland and there's a, another little marking next to the, the right of the head of the girl with a W, which means it was made in Warsaw, Warsaw, Poland. So Kevin, what did the uh, silver composition end up being in this? This is 80% silver. 80%? The four cups and this entire plate. And there is an inscription on this plate. The inscription is dated uh, January 29th, 1930. So it's it's a very historical piece and it's probably even worth more than the, the silver weight value alone. So by inscription, you mean that this actually is not original to the plate. This was carved in later by someone who was giving it as a gift. That is a fact that I can uh, not confirm or deny. The inscription is a very specific inscription. So this is obviously a unique piece. Piece. There's well, not, it, yeah, it has a date on it. So right. There's, no there, there's not another one of them just like this out right. there. As you look at the plate, you can see like these markings of where um, the cups used to be, and it's missing two cups and then a centerpiece. Obviously, in Poland, Russia, they like their liquor, of course. So this probably would have been a plate to hold like a little vat of liquor, and then these would be to sip from. So they're not exactly shot glasses. They're smaller than shot glasses, but they're more fancy than shot glasses, I guess you could say. When I was inspecting this item to uh, decide whether I was going to buy it or not. I was looking at uh, two primary pieces, both the cups and the plate. And looking at the cups, I, I figured, you know, these are small objects. Um, it would make sense that these would be made out of silver and just kind of hitting them together to get that nice, solid silver ping. That got me excited thinking that, you know, maybe just the cups are silver, you know, maybe I just, I'll just pick those up. But when I asked the lady to buy it, I was holding the entire thing and she said, 15 and I had 10 and she so I just took it all for 10. What I did not notice when I bought it was that the exact same marking on all four of the cups was on the plate. I guess I really lucked out. I mean I was 
it was almost just like a mistake that I bought the plate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I remember you talking about it. You were like, I wasn't even gonna buy the plate. Yeah, yeah. But you ended up with it. Just the plate itself is seven whole ounces of silver. Wow, so that's 70% so, yeah. of the purchase yeah, right there. Yeah, I mean, even if you just scored the cups, you would have scored big, but For with sure. that plate, that was just the extra bonus on top. Mm -hmm. I mean, what an awesome score, guys. So Kevin, I know you're into this thrift shopping thing, this whole urban treasure hunting scene. Um, I haven't gotten into it myself, but I know that you're just getting into it now, and this was your first big score. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about that. How do you distinguish between what's silver and what's plated? How do you know if you have a genuine object? Yeah, so the, the biggest key in um, thrifting is to do your research. I mean, the, that's it's really as simple as it is. And the second thing I'd say is just uh, use your instincts. I mean, if you pick up a bowl or a plate or something and it, it just doesn't feel right and the, the plating, it, you can kind of see it's peeling off or something, um, obviously that's not going to be silver. Uh, I really didn't have too many doubts about this one. Obviously, I had never bought a big silver purchase before, so I was doubting myself just because I've never done it. But after that, I, I'm way more confident in the market now. So basically what you're saying is that you just have to have a lot of experience in this in order to know what is silver and what's not. You know, how you say, like, you just feel it. But well, you can't yeah. feel it from the beginning. Right, right. You sort of have to do this a lot and figure out what Yeah, I, w I wouldn't say you have to have a lot of experience. I don't have, I certainly do not have a lot of experience and I haven't made this huge score. But that's right. the thing, in the beginning, you're gonna have to make some some risks. This $10 risk for me, I was very aware of the possibilities of losing $10 and I was completely fine with that going into it. Um, so that's kind of what you have to weigh out with your own where you're at. Yeah, obviously it turned out great for me this one time. I've had other times where it didn't turn out so great. So Kevin, before we end the video, do you have any more tips for people out there who maybe want to try to do this themselves? Uh, what to look for, where to go? Yeah, so there are many, many different places that you could um, do this type of activity at. Just look in the classifieds of your local newspaper. I'm sure there's garage sales. And then of course you work with thrift shops or any place, the flea market. Well, Kevin, once again, congratulations on Thank the you. amazing find. I'm sure that from here on out, you're just going to be in every single thrift store, every <laughs> single garage sale from now until the end of time looking for something like this again. Might just be. So just for this item, cheers to that. And thank you guys all for watching. My name is Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coins signing out. This is the story of how I got 10 ounces of silver for 10. <laughs> you, you can like bring it up as you're saying it. Here's to many more for you, Kevin. Cheers. Let's go get them. All right. <laughs> yes.